Who says gardens can't be rooms and formal rooms at that? You know, if you're into gardens or if you're into beauty, there's something about a formal garden. Whether you're a formal person or not, you just have to love. There's such harmony in them. This is one I designed about, oh, 15 to 17 years ago. If you look closely, you'll see that it's made up of very few simple concepts. You see, the garden is symmetrical. It is 80 feet long and 40 feet wide. And the inside of the garden is really divided into four parterres with a center fountain. And what a parterre is, is just divided earth. Now, the plant material that I use to paint this garden is really made up of just a handful of plants. Hollies. We have needlepoint holly as the outer hedge. We have these conical hollies called Nellie R. Stevens hollies. There are four of those. And then the rest of the garden, well, it's made of boxwood. This is called Buxus microphylla. And you can see it takes the knife, as they say, very well, meaning that it shears beautifully. Now, even though we're in the midst of winter, this garden, I think, really shines. In fact, I think that one of the best times to look at a garden is in the winter because you can really look at its bones. Now, speaking of bones, there's some other plants in here that are deciduous. There are crepe myrtles here over the archway that creates the entrance to this garden. There's a new dawn rose. And then there are objects in the garden that help punctuate it. There are these urns with an obelisk at the top and in each corner, there are figures that represent the four seasons. We come back to that whole idea of simplicity and symmetry. You know, it's a lot of fun to come back to a garden like this and see it mature. Even though I did it 17 years ago, by basically sketching out the initial idea on a napkin, it's fun to see how it's come together, matured, and you get this great sense of harmony just walking through it. If you've enjoyed this tip on garden design, make sure you share it with a friend and subscribe to eHow Home.